Hello everyone, welcome to Clash Code. So in this video, we will see the question 215 that is kth largest element in an array and this is a medium level question on lead code platform and also the one of most uh, like questions in this platform and it has been asked in various interviews for the Amazon, Google, Facebook etc. So let's see the problem statement. So find the kth largest element in an unsorted array. Note that it is the kth largest element in the sorted order not the kth distinct element so we are given an unsorted array and we have to find the kth largest element after sorting this array so for example we are given this array unsorted array that is 2 uh, 3 2 1 5 6 4 so when we sort it we will get 1 2 3 4 5 6 and we have to return the kth largest element that is we are given the k also that is 2 so we have to return the kth largest from the end that will be 5 because 6 will come the 6 with the uh, 6 will be the largest element then uh, the one less element before it will be 5 so we have to return 5 you can see for this example 3 2 3 1 2 4 5 5 6 so here we have to return the kth largest element which would be 4 so 4 will be you can see 4 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 so uh, you can understand that i hope and here you can see we uh, we are not like sure that we will be not given only the distinct elements it can be duplicate also so you can see and you may assume k is always valid that means k is always between the uh, length of the array k never gets uh, like for example here k is 2 if here the length of the array is 6 so k does not exceed the length of the array that will be it does not become 7 or 8 it will be always in the bounds that will be it will be 6 or uh, like 1 to 6 so let's see how we can solve this question so actually the basic approach that com uh, comes to your mind will be so using the sorting because if you sort the array then uh, if this is the array we are given so if we sort it simply we sort it that it will become okay 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so what we can do is we will uh, require first of all sorting when we sort this array we are given the kth value like kth element which we have to find so we can simply return array of k minus 1 so k is actually 2 uh, not k minus 1 actually uh, it will be n uh, actually i have sorted it in ascending order so you can see i have sorted it in ascending order so it is increasing from this one to till six so we can simply turn n minus k at the element so n is six okay so k is two so if you subtract it six minus two will be four so you have to return the fourth element or otherwise if you don't want to do uh, do this so you can simply sort it in descending order so it will become uh, let me uh, let me write it so it will become just a second so you can see it will become six five four three okay three two and one so then you will simply return the kth element k minus one element if you see k is two so we have to return the largest element second largest element so it will be k mi minus one because we have to uh, like map it to the zero indexing so it will be this element five so that will be require almost n log n time to sort if you use merge sort or any inbuilt function so it will take n log time to sort this array and then you have to simply return the index so it will not require more time but uh, the space will be over fun because we are using only sorting the original array and then returning the element so this will be one naive approach or the basic approach that you can think of so let's optimize this approach if we are given a large number of array or we have to find like uh, uh, the kth element in a median or in a, in a stream so the optimized way would be to use the heap so the heap also has two ways so you can use a main heap or a max heap so here i have written the pseudocode for the max heap i will also explain you the main heap or give the give you the overview for that also so in max heap what is heap actually so heap is actually data structure it is a max heap so in max heap what we do is we add the elements in a way such that if here one element is added then we will add the element in this place then this place then this place and then this place there will be no element skipped in between the this uh, this like level so there will be always a child present in every level so it will be like we will add the elements from in this order in this order actually from left to right we will not miss any uh, element between left to right and the the main property that max heap satisfies is the root node is always greater than its children so if root node is here this then it will become here six and seven and six and then this node should be greater than its children so its children would be for example three and like this its children will be five and four so example this should be the max heap for the min heap it is reverse so you have the root is smaller than the its children so for example it will be like this so you can see the root is smaller than its children so this is a min heap 
so now we are going to use this max uh, for this so, uh, solving this problem so let's see how we can solve this so actually we will simply first of all traverse over this array and make a map max heap from this array so how we can do that you can see we are traversing the array first of all we will create a max heap a uh, max heap can be created using a priority queue in c++ or you can uh, like uh, use a uh, max heap queue function in the python or like other languages so let's see so first of all for forming this heap we will first of all add 3 so 3 will be added so you can see 3 is added now we will add 2 so 2 will be added here but if you see this is not a max heap uh, it, it is a max heap sorry it is a max heap we are using a max heap so the root is greater than the children so it is uh, right so now we add 1 so 1 will be added so it is it follows the max heap property yes now 5 so 5 is added so 5 will be added here so we are adding from left to right now 5 is smaller than 2 so it does not satisfy the max heap property so we will uh, change this 5 and uh, make it uh, here and we will cut this 2 and uh, play, change it to the place of 5 so now we will get this 3 5 here and 2 and 1 now again 5 does not satisfy the property of the th this uh, max heap so 5 will come here and 3 will come here so now at last we will get uh, here we will get 5 here 3 actually let me erase this and I will write again so okay. so I am actually writing the mouse so it is taking more time 5 3 and 2 and 1 this is what we have got uh, got so, okay this is a max heap that we have found now we will add 6 so 6 will be added after this 3 so again it will be changed to this position and 3 will come here so when we change it so again it will be changed to this position because 6 is greater than 5 so it will be have to swap so now uh, after this step we will form the max if that will become here like this and 3 will come here and 1 will come here now again we have to add the 4 4 will be added so how we can add 4 so actually if you see 4 will be added at this point Bed it at this position and it will not satisfy the max property so we will again heapify this to the max heap so it will become like uh, here 4 will come and here okay, actually here 1 will come nothing will be here so uh, just a second just a second so 1 will come at left side of 4 so 1 is here now what we do is we have formed the max heap from this array so it will actually take off n time because we are traversing this array and adding it to a heap or building the heap from this uh, this uh, array so now what we do is we remove k minus 1 elements from the max heap so our k is 2 and we remove one element so when we remove the one element so it will be the max element in the array so if we remove 6 so 6 will be removed then what we do is when an element is removed then we add the last leaf node or the uh, add the last leaf node at the last level to the position of the root so it will become 1 will come here 5 will come here 2 and 3 and here it will come 4 so now again we max heap uh, we heapify this and let me raise this so we heapify this and it will form now again to heapify we like use this uh, log of n time if we heapify this it will become 5 will come here okay and 1 4 and 2 and 3 now if you see we have formed the max heap and it satisfies the property you uh, actually here also it will be changed so it will become 1 uh, here 2 will come here then okay actually it will become let me raise this so if you see it will become 3 will come here okay and 1 will come here and 2 will come here now this is the max heap and it satisfies the property of the max heap so now we can have to simply return the peak element because we have removed the largest element in the heap so it was uh, 6 actually if you see so we have removed the largest element and we have to found, find the second largest element so now it will come at the top because it is greater than the all elements and uh, it satisfies the max heap property so now our top element that we have the peak element in this heap will be our result if you see 5 is the output you can see 5 is the output so actually in this we have to simply traverse over the array and make a max heap from that array so i actually showed you the, all the steps but in the code it will be simple so you will have to simply uh, make the max heap from this array then you have to remove k minus 1 elements so when you remove k minus 1 elements the k element that we are finding for or the searching for will uh, become the peak element in the heap it will come at the top because the greater elements than that element will be removed so we'll be left with the K, uh, uh, this element the top ele uh, the element that we have to return so this will be the max heap so it will actually uh, take the time complexity i will also show you the time complexity so its time complexity will be o of n plus k log of n o of n will be the function that we are using to build this max heap from this array so it will be time for that 
and the k will be elements that we are removing actually it will be actually k minus 1 because we are removing k minus 1 element so and the log n will be when we remove a element as i showed you we remove the element 6 from here and 1 came at the position of 6 here 1 came where 6 was here then we have to satisfy the max a property so we have to heapify this so it will take log of n time to change this and make it to max heap so it will take you can see log of n uh, log of n time k log of n time i have written also the this you can see the like the description about this so now let's see the mean heap uh, actually min heap function so i will show you just the like overview how we can use the min heap so actually in min heap what we'll do when we add a element so we have we will maintain a size of the max heap to 2 the k that we are given the k value actually our max heap size will not exceed this k value if you see we add 3 or min heap value because we are now using the min heap solution so let me also write this so we are now solving the uh, this quotient using the min heap so what we do is we are given this array so now we traverse this array and we add 3 so 3 will be added now we add 2 so 2 is also if we add 2 you can see the size of the max heap is actually less than k so equal to k it is not greater than k so we can add 2 so now we have to min heap, uh, make min heap so 2 will come uh, before 3 it will become the root so now this is our min heap that we are given so now when we come to 1 we come to 1 then we try to add 1 so we add 1 here then we heapify this min heap, uh, like min heapify this it will come 1 3 and 2 will come here but now if you see the size of this will increase this uh, exceed the k so k is 2 the size of this max heap is 3 so we have to pop an element so when we we have to pop the we can pop only the root node in the heap so we will pop this so 1 will pop and 2 will come here so it will come 2 and 3 it satisfies the property you can see so okay so then we come to 5 so now 5 will be added so 5 will be added here so now it will again exceed it satisfies the mini property so we don't have to perform that so now you can see the size again exceeds the k k is 2 and size is 3 so now we again delete this element so now 3 will come here actually and 5 will come here it will be actually first of all we delete 5 5 will come here then we uh, this 5 will be here and 3 will be here so again we have to mean we heapify this it will uh, again change the values so 3 will come here and 5 will come here so now again so let me erase this step i hope you got this and now let's see now we are on 6 so 6 will be added so again 6 will be added here so it is a min heap so it satisfies the property but the size increases or the increases or exceeds the k so again we delete 3 so 3 will be deleted now 6 will come here and 5 will be here again when we change the values so because we have to make it a min heap so it will come 5 and 6 over here now again we add 4 so when we add 4 actually if you see we add 4 again the size changes so we have to uh, like make this 4 to this uh, well, uh, the stop when we change this 4 and 6 and 5 so now it uh, again exceeds the size as we min heapified this and now it in again exceeds the size of the k that is 2 but if the size is uh, here the size is 3 so again we pop the element the peak element then we pop it it will become 5 and 6 over here now you can see we have got our second largest element or the kth largest element that we are found uh, uh, searching for so you can see 5 is our output now you can see we can simply return the peak element the peak element will be returned actually this pseudo code is for the max heap it is not for the min heap it is for the max heap so you can simply see uh, for the max heap what we did was we simply traversed over this array and we formed max heap we added all the elements to the max heap and then we removed k minus 1 elements from the max heap so it was the different approach than the main heap in main heap what we did is we maintained a size of the heap to 2 or the k value that we are given so we keep inserting the elements and when uh, and we keep uh, heapifying it so when we see the array or the heap size exceeds the value of k then we pop the peak element after that we will return when we are done with this all the elements will be traversed so then uh, we can simply return the peak element of the min heap so it will be actually the p, uh, the so element that we are searching for as it is a min heap so uh, the element that is smaller than the other elements will come here so you can see 5 and 6 so min heap time complexity will be actually n because we are traversing all whole array and we are like uh, making the heapify function using the heapify function so it will be n of log of n actually k of log of n because we are maintaining the size of 2 so let's see now the code uh, like how we can code it in c++ so actually i will also share the code in the description so you can check it from there also so first i will show you the max solution or the code so simply you for using the max heap you can uh, you can define priority queue int and max heap so it will be max heap by default in c++ 
to uh, make it i mean hey we will see how we can do it so we will simply traverse over the array so i am using the for loop so we are traversing over this array and we are inserting it to the max heap so it will automatically heapify this and make it a max heap for all elements that we are adding or we can you can simply do here also you can uh, like uh, in this bracket you can say min uh, numbers dot begin and comma numbers dot end so it will automatically do the heapify function on this uh, array and it add it to the max heap instead of using this loop so then what we do is we remove the elements from i is equal to 1 to less than k as we told i as i told you we have to remove k minus 1 elements so then when we have removed all the elements we will be left with the kth element that we are searching for at the peak and you can return the top of this max heap so let's uh, run this solution so i hope it gets submitted so let's see so yeah it got accepted you can see so now let's see the mean heap function actually the program using the mean heap so for defining the mean heap in c++ what we do is we use the priority queue as it is by default the max heap so we have to write this index that is int uh, vector int and greater int you can see how we i have written this so you can check it from like geeks or geeks one any in the site you will get it or or you can understand it from there then we have i have defined the variable as mean heap now we will simply traverse over the whole array and what we do is at every step as i told you at every step we keep adding the elements in the mean heap first we add the elements in the mean heap we don't care if it is greater getting greater than k uh, value of k but we add this element you can see we added the elements then we heapified this then after that we checked if the size of mean heap is greater than the size of k or the value of k then we pop the element min, minimum element after that we are left when we have traversed whole array then we are left with the kth largest element that we are searching on on the top so we can return that top element let's see so in the first solution also we were returning the top element and here also we are returning the top element because in heap we can delete the top element uh, the root and return it or we cannot like delete any other element in the heap so when we delete the element so we have to check or uh, whether it is satisfying the property or not because in some cases like if we delete ele this element or other element may come here so it will not satisfy the property maybe so we have to satisfy the property and i hope you got the time complexity also n was for building the mean heap and k of log n was for removing the k elements and uh, like log n was uh, as we have uh, removed the element we have to heapify this and for the mean heap the time complexity uh, time complexity was n of log n because uh, a k of log n because like we are doing it for k and you can understand it i hope so i got uh, i hope you got this uh, solution and actually i uh, you got to know how to use this mini heapify and like mini and max heap i hope you got it so do like this video and subscribe to this channel and share it for more thank you for watching guys